Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the two-phase flow series. In this particular video, we are going to talk about reinitialization parameter. This parameter is an important parameter out of two parameters which are there in level set model. We already uploaded a video on these two parameters. Those are reinitialization parameter and parameter controlling interfacial thickness. I talked about briefly in the previous video that reinitialization parameter should be the maximum velocity that you expect in your system. So we have taken a particular model which is there in the application library and this particular model is about rising the liquid under capillary action. So in this particular case, it is estimated that maximum velocity cannot reach beyond 1 meter per second and that is why this reinitialization parameter was taken as 1 meter per second by Comson. On the other hand, the parameter controlling interface thickness that is related to the dimension of your mesh and this is very important and we are trying to make another video on this particular parameter controlling thickness because we have to play around with the different mesh sizes and that is why I have chosen to make another video on this. So today we will be focusing only on reinitialization parameter. So I already talked about it should be the maximum possible velocity. Now what I did, I have taken this reinitialization parameter as a parameter and put it in a parametric study. You can see I have taken the parameters as 0 0.001, 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 1, 2.5, 5, 10 and 100. Why did I? choose those parameters, those particular values because I wanted to see what happens if the values are taken very near to what they have, they means console has taken. So I put three values, one, 1.25, so one and 1.25 are very close to each other. Then I put five, 10, 100. So this is, this 100 is extremely high whereas this 0 0.001 is extremely low. I wanted to see what happens if I choose a reinitialization parameter which is very low compared to the original value that should be taken or which is very high compared to the value which should be taken. So in this two extreme extent I wanted to see what happens. So I'll show you the result. So this is a capillary rise. So you can see the capillary rise from here. So this is on two dimensional plane. So this is at particular value one meter per second, which console was taken. I have changed the mesh size due to the faster can faster computation, but mesh size can also play some important role because if you are taking a bigger mesh then it may create numerical issues in your solution so meshes should not be taken very of very higher size you should be careful when you choose the mesh size or mesh distribution but for a given mesh distribution when the reinitialization parameter is one it shows like this interface. So this is air, this is water. Water is being risen by this capillary action. So you can see this is how it looks. Now it still has some issue. So you can see there is some sharp corner when we take one. So why did it happen? Because I have chosen the file from the application library, but I have increased the mesh size for the faster computation because I am working on my laptop. So for that what I have seen is at 1 meter per second also this is very close to the original solution but there are some sharp points which should not be the case because there should be a continuous change from the liquid to the air phase. So I have seen like 
for 2.5 it is perfectly smooth and this should be expected if you uh, if you think about original capillary rise you you will see there is a curvature and there this would be a perfect curvature so we got a perfect curvature at 2.5 meter per second so what i can tell is for my mesh combination mesh size mesh distribution 2.5 is a perfect value but one is also giving almost similar and because of the mismatch of the value with the meshes we get a little different but if you look again and again 1 and 2.5 there is little difference now if we go to 0 0.001 which is very low value and then if you see the thing so you can see first of all this is giving you sharp peak sharp zones and at the same times the profile is completely different that means if you see for 1.2.5 the fluid was here and for 0 0.001 it drastically changes so from this particular simulation you can realize what is the importance of deciding on this reinitialization parameter I'm still working on this reinitialization parameter I'm trying to understand those parameters better so I'm doing some research so once I complete that I'll upload more videos on these things so far there are multiple research articles I have read and also I have done multiple simulations to understand this so obviously I'll share those observations with you now let us go to the original value 2.5 again so this should be the perfect case now go to the other extreme that is 100 and plot it you can see it has vanished actually so that means if you put 100 this is totally wrong so the liquid is here and it should be actually here but for I mean you 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 got somewhere else if it would have been 100 so in this video we have seen you should always choose your reinitialization parameter judiciary and also what you have to do is you may play around with those parameters like the way I have done a parametric study you can also do a parametric study in order to realize the perfect value for your case you can also do some simple validation studies and those validations can be done based on the experimental knowledge based on the previous simulation from a particular paper so from those activities you can actually set your reinitialization parameter and proceed with that particular parameter so you can now do this activity and when you do this activity i'll recommend choose different mesh sizes and then try out your simulation for different reinitialization parameters then you will have more knowledge on these parametric studies and it would be useful so today i stop here if you are liking my videos kindly share those videos with your friends with your relatives with your peers so that i i get more motivation to upload videos thank you